This conference will now be recorded. And um, our trainer this morning is um, Angela, and she oh. is our um, Eastern um, uh, uh, Regional Sales Manager. Uh, if you have any questions, just type them in the chat box. I have everyone um, muted, and um, we are going to go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead, Angela. Okay, hello everyone, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, this training, uh, what we're gonna do with this training is go through the differences uh, between our Advantage line, which is our Builder Series, and the Classic Designer and Elite, which is what we call our J-Series units. So um, as I go through here, if anyone has any questions, just definitely just uh, type it into the chat box and um, as we're going along we will uh, we will check and see if there's any questions or if, or if you need some clarification uh, definitely just let us know and speak up so a um, little bit about what we want to talk about is the Jetta quality when we talk about Jetta it's quality and durability um, that that we place uh, into the production of our products so every Jetta tub we is manufactured with um, a, a th an extra tough ac um, acrylic. And so with it being acrylic, we actually use a thicker acrylic than what is used in the as an industry standard. The acrylic is a non-porous surface, so the gloss won't dull, it won't fade. It, acrylic is color that goes all the way through. Um, so you won't have like in, for example, on a gel coated product where it would scratch and, and you can actually scratch, um, you know, the top coat, the shiny top coat off. Um, another thing with acrylic is that it is also UV resistant, so you will not have it color changing um, over the years or yellowing. Um, another thing that we'll point out is that um, everyone has kind of seen on the back of uh, their Jetta tub, there's, or on any other tub, you'll find that rough, um, looks like little pieces of fiber, uh, which is called fiberglass chop. So that's literally little strings of fiberglass, which is shot through a gun and chopped up and sprayed onto the back of the tub uh, with uh, a resin. And that is actually what puts, uh, that gives the tub its actual strength and stability. Um, with that, we actually add two layers of that, uh, not just one, um, that helps to minimize um, any damage um, for it makes it a stronger tub. Um, of course, and we'll talk a little bit more about our 10-year uh, structure and surface warranty with it. And um, we'll touch base with the Stay Hot Guarantee and also all of the other um, extra things that we put into our production. So with Jetta, it's go ahead and linger. It stays hot longer. It's this if it's not stay hot, it's not cool. So of course, when we talk about Jetta, we talk about our stay hot guarantee. So um, one of the things that we do need to touch base on, so the difference with our stay hot guarantee and the foaming of the tubs, which we'll show you. Um, so our Advantage line uh, does not have the stay hot guarantee. So the Advantage is our Builder Series, our entry level product. Um, but as we go through the J Series, which is our Classic Designer and Elite, all of those units um, do have the Stay Hot Guarantee and also have the foam on the back. So basically what the Stay Hot Guarantee means is that it will stay within two degrees of its original temperature for up to 30 minutes of use. Um, for those of you that are familiar with inline heaters, that's kind of the same point of reference that we give for inline heaters. Uh, so what's nice about that is that there's no added uh, electrical or add-on items for that. So with this foam, besides providing the insulation for the Stay Hot Guarantee, another nice thing that it does is it does lock the plumbing in place. Uh, so it kind of eliminates the risk of if the plumber goes to pick it up by the, the by the tubing on a, on a whirlpool or on an air tub. And a lot of times when you're putting weight on that, that can cause issues, damage, leaks. So they can't do that. Um, another thing that it does help is with the actual sound reduction um, from the Whirlpool and also the air tops. So what you have here is the difference between what we do with the Advantage foam and our J-Series foam. foam. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, as you can see, on the left here, you can see the advantage. So um, what we do is spot foam on the whirlpools in the air models to make sure that all of the plumbing stays um, secure in place. Um, the stay hot guarantee does not apply to 
the Advantage line. So as you see in different, the J-Series product in which we foam, you can see the complete outside of the tub. It is a complete coverage um, on, on the tub and coverage over, over the piping. And that J-Series uh, product also um, we'll have another seminar on our affinity line, but our affinity line also does have um, the foaming too. So it does have the stay hot guarantee, but you can see the difference between the Advantage and the J series foam. So when we talk about the actual production of the units, um, the production of the units in many ways is, identi is identical. And when we talk about the jet equality, some of the extra steps that we do and some of the the um, some of the processes that we use. Um, one of the things you will see um, on the corner is that we actually fiberglass in a corner post for reinforcement. Uh, so we do this on both the J series and also on the Advantage. Um, you will find a lot of times when you have damage on a unit, when it's transportation damage or you know damage during install. Um, you'll notice that the corners, it might be damage on the corners. What that extra post does is give strength to those corners and that really helps to cut down um, on damage uh, from transportation and, and how you know boxes being handled. Um, another thing that we do is we still do a, a plywood base. Um, a lot of companies no longer do a plywood base. They'll do some type of little feet or leveling uh, cups. Uh, some of them use, um, you know, a, a man-made material. Uh, we are still using a solid plywood. And with that plywood, it does help with the install. It helps to provide strength and also um, some rigidity for the unit um, and for the bathing well there. As we move on, and you can see the manufacturing process, um, for those of you who have not been to Jetta yet, hopefully we will get all of you up to um, Oklahoma to be able to see uh, the actual manufacturing plant. Um, this is how our tubs start off. So we talked about the acrylic sheeting. So everything starts off as an acrylic sheeting. That main sheeting that we uh, start with is thicker than what an industry standard sheet uh, for an acrylic tub. Then it moves into um, a vacuum forming machine. And what that machine does is it heats up uh, that sheeting in which, and then it's then it's uh, pulled down um, over a mold, depending on what, what product they are making at that time. After that unit has been vacuum formed and cooled, it's then uh, taken out of the mold and then it moves on to the fiberglassing. And you can see the fiberglassing, um, this one is half done. The fiberglass is actually this pink uh, resin here that is applied onto um, the full back of the tub. So with our process here uh, with the fiberglassing, we actually fiberglass the entire tub um, with that fiberglass, it does have to go through a curing process. So it goes through a heating oven, comes back around, and we actually fiberglass the entire unit again. So you're getting two coats of that fiberglass chop on the back of the tub. That is important because the fiberglass actually gives um, the added strength to the unit. So um, when you when you have one of our units, you'll see that it's a, a much stronger, heavier uh, weight to it because it does have the two coats of that fiberglassing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. From the fiberglassing, it then moves on to plumbing if it's a systems unit. So you can see that we have um, the the product being plumbed here, and you can see where the plumbing is complete. Uh, one thing I do like to point out as you look here, all of this plumbing is arched. So what that does is when that product is stopped, when, when you're finished with, with your bath and you, and you shut off the system, all of the water that was here will automatically go down, drain and drain down and drain out uh, so that nothing gets actually held back into the back plumbing. So once we have actually plumbed the unit, it then goes down, goes to um, a cut down and finishing process. So with this process right here, when they're cutting down the, the, the unit, um, they're actually cutting this and, and actually making the lip level here. Um, and then from here is a polishing and finishing of the edge. So it's a smooth, clean edge for you. So 
after that has all been done, it moves over to the water testing. Every single tub that goes through Jetta is water tested before it leaves. If it is a system tub, it is filled uh, and, and, and water is held in there to make sure that it's holding water. And then we run the unit and for a soaker tub, they fill it and they make sure that it's holding water correctly. So after it's been water tested is where it will go to the foaming process. So after the water testing, it moves into the foaming process. Um, what you see right here is actually the foaming for a J-series tub as the foam is getting uh, placed over the complete units. After that unit has been foamed, it moves into the cleaning area. And this area right here is a special area which we have special lighting in which um, our team inspects the units for any flaws, any finish damage. Um, if they do find any flaws or finish damage, it's highlighted, it's circled, and it goes back uh, through a finishing process. If it is something that cannot be fixed, then you know the tub is moved out um, of stock, out of inventory, and they 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 start over. Um, you will notice, you'll see, they have a little buffer there. They actually wax the inside of the tub. So as you know, as they're cleaning and inspecting these, they're going over the units, you know, very carefully to make sure that there isn't any blemishes or or any defects in the finish. And then you see a picture um, of our inventory that we have. Uh, some of the tubs are pre-made for you. Um, any questions on any of that? Okay, so as we go through um, talking about the difference between our Advantage, Classic, Designer, and Elite, um, we're gonna start by speaking about the differences within the uh, Whirlpool packages. So um, as we take a look at the Advantage tub, you can see there, uh, depending on the size of the tub, you will have up to six total jets, you will have one back jet, and a one horsepower pump system. So with those jets, those are going to be jets in which you are gonna be able to um, directionally move the jet to where you want to focus the Whirlpool action. As you move into our J series, which is the classic designer and elite, you're gonna, uh, the Whirlpool uh, jets change a bit. So we go into the classic series, with the Classic Series, you're going to have five to eight total jets, which, um, de again, depending on the size of the tub, you still have one back jet, and this pump system is a one and a half horsepower pump system. And the difference here is that these jets, you can also control the volume, so you could um, adjust to how much water, adjust the water flow on and off, and also directionally. So that is within the classic series as you move to the designer series you're going to have even more jets and that's seven to nine and then it goes into a three pack of back jets those back jets um once we hit designer and elite the back jets then become rotating back jets so one thing that you can see um, on here is that these have almost like little what we call jet pockets so um, that jet is actually um, installed into this jet pocket and you have the rotating uh, inside of the jet, which creates a spiral um, a pattern when, when the jets are running. Um, on the sides, then you have the standard classic jet, which is throughout, throughout this, this unit right here. So, and then a two horsepower pump system. And as we move into elite, for the Whirlpools, your standard is going to be this uh, six pack V style. And then there are also upgrades to a 10 pack jet system. Again, all of these in jet pockets and all of the back jets will be spinning. So let's look a little closer at the Advantage Whirlpool. So like we said, up to six jets, one back jet, this is our traditional fixed eyeball jet. That's what we call that. Um, also in our Advantage line, you will find um, skirted units um, in the Whirlpool and also the soakers, which will also have the skirted with the tile flange and a one horsepower pump system. 
So as we talk about the advantage line and we're going to go through, we kind of we're, we'll touch through on the um, advantage whirlpools and advantage air tubs, but um, advantage products available soakers, whirlpools and air. So uh, all in all three of of those therapies. So with our whirlpool, so this is um, the standard with the Jetta Advantage Whirlpool. As you move into our classic series, so our classic series is um, available as a soaker, a whirlpool, an air only, and a combo. So five to eight, when we talk about the whirlpool, five to eight jets with always one back jet. All of those jets will be flow adjustable at the jet and also directional. And in the classic series is where you will also find the integrated skirt and tile flange units. So the loft tub or the J12 and J13 tub. Um, because there are more jets, it has a bigger um, horse pump, a horsepower pump system. This moves into a one and a half horsepower pump system. As we move up into our designer whirlpools, you will have seven to nine jets. The back jets then go to the three pack of back jets and they are rotating. So those are standard. The pump is a two horsepower pump system. And then with our elite, up to 28 total jets, the back configuration will be the, either the traditional 6V or the 10 pack of an, in the T formation. Again, all of those jets will be rotating. And then you move into a three, four, and a six horsepower pump system. Now with that six horsepower pump system on some of the units which have many jets and are, are larger units, you will actually have multiple pumps. So you would get three, I'm sorry, you'll get two, three horsepower uh, pumps that would need to go on there. So that's why they say system. Here you have a comparison of the different back jets um, side by side as you go through the different lines. So advantage, you have that single jet and it's the one uh, back jet which you have adjustability in the movement but not in the flow. As you move into classic, you have also the one back jet, but the jet you get adjustability in flow and also in direction. As you step up into the designer and the elite, the designer, you have the three pack and then those back jets become spinning, rotating back jets. And the same with the elite, you get the six and then you could see the 10 pack T-shaped uh, system and all of those will be spinning jets. Any questions so far? Okay, I'm gonna speak a little bit concerning the Whirlpool components. Um, what you're seeing here is our Whirlpool jets right here, and this is the, the standard classic Whirlpool jet that you're seeing uh, right here. Um, another thing that I want to touch base on is what you're seeing right here is this, what we call our Venturi system. This is the Venturi system right here that attaches onto the back of the jet. You will notice here that there's two outlets, a large and a small. So the large outlet will uh, be for the water, which is being pumped in through the jet. The small outlet is actually for air, which will mix with the water and flow out of the jet. When you see our jets running, you will actually see little bubbles within the jet. And what that air and water together spun together does is it makes for a true hydrotherapy experience and a more comfortable bathing experience. Um, everyone has taken their thumb and put it over the uh, a garden hose and put your hand in front of it. That that feeling is not very comfortable. It's it's a hard, almost stinging sensation. Um, that is because that is pure water coming through there. Um, if you've had customers who have said, oh, I don't want a whirlpool, it, you know, I, it made red, left red marks, it made me itch, um, they probably had a system in which the jet didn't 
use a Venturi system. And so it wasn't a very comfortable experience for them. So that all of our Whirlpool jets throughout all the lines all use this Venturi system. The other thing you can see here um, are all of our, our, our um, piping and plumbing that we're using. So all of the plumbing is has an antimicrobial uh, coating on the interior. And then all of this is what we is a semi rigid uh, product. So you're not going to have anything that's going to sag. Um, it's, you know, it, it stays, it holds its shape in which it's, it's placed. It's not going to be like a vacuum cleaner hose where something will sag and be able to hold water. Um, with the Whirlpool pump, the pump itself is a self draining pump. And when we speak about the air in which we're funneling into the system through the Venturi, we actually pull the air from the top of the Whirlpool pump. So that air has actually been slightly heated um, from, from the pump motor. And that is what is going through the system because we do not want to introduce cold air um, into your bathtub. Any questions on this? Okay. So we're going to go through um, the different jets uh, that that we spoke briefly about. So as we look here, we have our Advantage line and then the uh, jets that we use for both our Classic and then the Designer and Elite. So as you take a look at the Advantage jet, you can see that this is just um, a standard, and you can understand how we say eyeball jet. It is uh, directionally, you can change this interior, point this interior to wherever up, down, left, right, but it does not have a shutoff. So it's directionally adjustable. It is color matched in white and biscuit. So whatever tub color, the Advantage series comes only in white and in biscuit. So whichever tub series in which, uh, whichever color you pick, the jet will be color matched to the tub. As we move into our J series, what we call our J series, the classic designer and elite, um, the jet package changes. So for in our classic series, all of the jets in the entire tub will be this uh, jet right here. This jet, you can adjust direction, and then you can also at the jet adjust the amount of water flow on on or off, high or low. So that can, can be adjusted. It is not a complete shutoff, but you can turn it down to just basically a trickle. Then um, as you go over to the designer and the elite, the back jets will all be this rotating uh, jet right here in which you also can adjust and you also can adjust the flow. You can adjust the direction and the flow. So these will be the, the jets that you will find in the three pack, six pack and 10 pack on the back. This, this is the jet that will be on throughout the rest of the unit. So the, the designer and elite get a combination of both of these. So now with all of our classic and designer and elite jets, all of these are removable. So you can remove the jets simply by turning them 180 degrees, you'll hear it click and they pull right out. You can uh, clean, easily clean behind it. Um, the jets themselves are also dishwasher safe, so kind of easy to be able to clean the tub. Um, the jets again will be color matched in white biscuit and bone. And then we also provide, um, we carry as accessories, some trim kits um, in oil rub bronze or satin nickel if your customer wants to add trim kits. Any questions on the differences between the jets? So just, no an, yes. I said no questions. Oh, okay, so sorry. Um, also, this, just um, as a point, the Advantage jets do not come out of the tub. So those are not removable for cleaning. Those are um, installed, permanently installed into the, into the units. So any questions as we go through the whirlpools? So we went through the whirlpools. So I think we're good. We're gonna move on to um, our air tubs. So we offer air tubs um, in our Advantage line, and then we have an air only option within our classic unit. And then the same air system is used 
in the designer and elite uh, products in the combination units. So as we go through the Advantage Air Tubs, um, and then we'll go through the uh, standard classic air tub and we'll, we'll touch base a little bit about the system that we use. So with our air features, what you're gonna have um, are the injectors that go around the perimeter of the unit. So these are all positioned around the perimeter of the side wall. Um, this uses the same injector and tube system that we'll review shortly as we do in our J and uh, in our J series. Um, the biggest difference between the Advantage and the J series air product is that the Advantage air has a one horsepower non-heated blower. So what that means is that that blower will be pulling ambient temperature air into the unit. So warm climates, this probably doesn't affect you quite as much as cold climates, but both you still would want to make sure that that blower has access to some type of heated air. So if they need to put a vent in into the front of um, the decking or, you know, you just want to make sure that they're not dropping this, you know, into an unheated basement or an unheated pulling that, that it's, you know, into an, uh, un pulling air from an unheated crawl space, anything like that, because um, this one is an ambient uh, blower, basically. Um, this unit is operated by a basic air switch on and off. And then you also have the purge cycle, like you have on all air tubs. Um, about 20 minutes after you've stopped the tub, the air system comes on and it is it dries out um, all of those air injectors um, from from use. You'll see, we we'll showed you the spot foam on the piping just to secure the piping in place. And we have the air option available on all units in the Advantage line, except for the E13S, where it's only a 30 inch wide and it's a skirted tub. So there's not enough room for us to actually get everything that we need to place underneath there in that small, um, area the loft which is a single panel tub and the garret so but all every other unit does have an air option <clears throat> as we go through to the classic air tubs you can see we use the same injector and tube system which we will speak about um, and it's also the integrated injectors so uh, for those of you that have been with us for a while, you remember that our old air tubs used to have a little trim ring on the injector bodies on the outside of your tubs. Those are no more. Um, it is a clean, smooth, no trim ring. Um, they're all an upgraded injector system. And actually we're using that same system um, on the Advantage product. It is no trim rings, all, all clean, uh, no uh, integrated, in, integrated system. Um, the difference here with the classic tubs is that you will have the air injectors positioned around the perimeter at the hand rest area and then also on the back and also foot rest the lumbar areas. So you definitely have more injectors in, in the system. Um, the other upgrade is that you have a 600 watt one horsepower heated blower. So this is a heated blower. Um, but still in colder climates, especially, you still want to make sure that the blower does have access to ambient temperature air, uh, because if it's pulling 70 degree air and warming it up, it's going to be much warmer than if, if it's pulling 30 degree air. So just kind of makes sense, especially in cooler climates, uh, make sure that they have access to some heated air in which that blower is pulling. Um, on our classic air tubs, the clear mood light is standard and is included. And then, of course, you get the automatic purge dry cycle, which is 20 minutes after use um, for that. With a So it's going to go off for about two minutes. And it also has the foam insulation, which also assists with the sound reduction. Air tubs are inherently louder than um, Whirlpool. So 
the foam does help with the sound reduction a little bit there. Um, one thing also, and when we go through um, all of the components, you'll see the difference in the controller. Um, on the classic air controller, you actually get an electronic controller in which you will be able to control the blower and you're able to adjust the intensity up and down. Uh, you will be able to turn the light on and off from that. And then there is also multiple settings on the blower. So one push it once, it comes on in the steady constant pattern, push the start button twice very quickly. It goes into a pulsing pattern in which will make the water pulse and then push it three times very quickly, it will go into a wave pattern. So there's three different functions um, for the water pattern, uh, continuous wave and pulse on, on that controller. And we'll view that in just a moment. On the combination units, basically what we've done is we've done taken the best of both worlds and put them into one unit. You can use them independently or you can use them together. So with the air system, it is the exact same air system. Injector and tube system, which we will go over, you will find on the combos that the air injectors will be around the perimeter of the tub. Again, this is the upgraded injector system uh, with the integrated injectors with no trim rings. You're gonna have the heated blower. You're gonna have the clear mood light included and the purge cycle. Of course, this will be foamed. Um, you will have always in a combo, the jets will be on the back package. So whenever you order a combo, it will always have the jets on the back. And then you also can see that it has jets also throughout the tub placed above the air injectors and at the end over here. So back package on the sides, on the ends, and then the interior is the air injectors. Again, two different controllers. We could run them together or independently. Here are some pictures of our air manufacturing process. And the first picture that you're seeing up over here, this is actually a combo tub. So you can see the jetting and then the air is below right here. Um, we will come back to this. This is our, um, system here, this manifold system that we use. And when we talk about um, our in, in, injector and tube system, and then we'll also touch base on what this is called as a Hartford loop um, on the secondary, on a, just an extra safety backflow um, product that, that's added there. And you can see how everything is completely foamed at the end. So as we talk about the air system, um, we use an injector system, but it's a little bit of a hybrid um, injector system. Uh, standard air tubs, two standard ways in which um, manufacturers you do an air tub. Um, the first way is what's called a channel system in which um, the air is heated and then is taken um, throughout the tub and breaks off into channels around the tub. This, the knock on that one is that as that air is traveling around, it takes longer for it to get everywhere because it's breaking off into little individual pieces. And then also in certain areas, um, you'll find that, you know, where the blower is releasing the air, it might be stronger than where it is coming around the corner of the tub. So it's not as balanced as per se an injector system. Um, on a standard injector system, you're gonna have a check valve on each injector. So if something happens at the injector point and the check valve is closed, you, you lose some of your air holes. So we have kind of a hybrid system between the two of those. So you can see this is our air injector with the completely smooth, no trim ring. Um, and this is actually what's going in the T-connector, which is going into the tub and our injector assembly. So what's important is that um, the check valves, we actually use a check valve, which goes onto the end of the blower here. 
And then we use what's called a Hartford loop, which is our a secondary uh, check valve system versus having the check valve right here at each um, injector assembly. So between these two, um, you're not gonna lose any of your air injectors. Um, the second thing is that we use this manifold system. And I'm gonna go back for just a moment to show you. So with this manifold system, you can see down here, this uh, manifold system, this each tube is feeding only three to five of those air holes. So with that, as the air is released through here, um, it's going directly to its exit point. So it's not having to travel to other areas and break off. So what that does is A, it gives you a shorter delivery time. So keeps the air warmer from the time in which it leaves the blower and B keeps a balanced airflow throughout the entire tub. So you will have a consistent balanced airflow uh, throughout the tub. Then you see uh, the two different controllers. This is gonna be your Advantage controller. This is gonna be the controller in the classic air only and then also in the designer and elite on the combo units. You have your light, you have your on off and you have your adjustability up and down. So, and this is just your base standard air switch. Any questions? Okay. So as we go through the advantage and um, the difference between the advantage and some of our J series, in the J series, you will find your skirted units in the classic series. So Advantage and Classic both carry the standard skirted models with an integrated tile flange. You could see the models will be the same number. So it'd either be an E or a J13, an E or a J12S. And please note, we did do an update to the 13, which has that single panel access. The 12s, 31, 3, and 2s all have the double window pane access. And then, of course, we have our loft. So you have the lofts um, in both the E and the J. Main difference as you're going through these two groupings, um, so obviously in the in the skirted soakers, there's going to be no foam in the E version. Um, foam will be in the J version. On the E version, on the uh, jetted systems, you're going to have on the E, it's going to be those standard jets. On the J, you're going to have the upgraded jets, which are removable. On the air system, on the E, it's going to be a non-heated blower just around the perimeter and you're just gonna have the on off. On the J, you're gonna have the um, heated blower, you're going to have the electronic controller, and you're also gonna have the light. Any questions on the Advantage and Classic skirted tubs? Okay. So some of our options that we offer in our Advantage line here. Spa pillows, which we'll go through. Of course, we just spoke about the skirted models. Uh, cable drive waste and overflows, and then also an ABS tile flange. So on these items, the Advantage line only comes in white and biscuit. Um, you have your option of your soaker, Whirlpool, and air only. And then we will do this tile flange, a uh, custom tile flange for you. If you want three walls, you just call out the three walls. If you want just one wall, however you want it, just call that out and it will be a factory installed tile flange. As we move into all of our J series, the classic designer and elite, you have a lot more options. So obviously um, we have an LED light, which is that standard white light that's gonna come standard on the combos and also on the air tubs. You can upgrade to the multicolored mood light if you if you like, um, or you could add the LED or mood light to a soaker or to a whirlpool if you want. Spa pillows, we have grab bars. Uh, they are a six inch acrylic grab bar. We have the clear acrylic and we also have the color matched acrylic. Uh, these are sold individually. So if they only need one, we can just put one on or if they want to, you, you know, they can do a pair. Um, we have an aromatherapy upgrade. These um, units come 
in designer colors as an upgrade, the bone, black, ice gray, and sandbar. Uh, in our J series, any of our J series, if you want to add an extra jet somewhere, you, you are able to do that as long what we ask is for you to contact us, let us know where it wants to go. We need to touch base with production to make sure that it could go in that area. Usually the key things that they're looking for needs to be a flat area where that tub could be mounted, needs to be below the waterline. And also we need to make sure that there's no plumbing behind there in which will interfere with the, the uh, jet actually being able to be installed. Um, we talked about the integrated skirts on some models. We have jet trim kits on these. Of course, we offer the cable drive waste and overflows, and then also the uh, integrated uh, uh, factory installed tile flanges. Any questions as we go through the J series and the Advantage series? Okay. A um, couple things here, I want to point out some of these spa pillows. Um, we have added many, many pillows here, um, right here. This sushi pillow, this has been a very popular pillow. It's a nice roll up pillow. You could throw it over the tub. You could roll it up like in a, like a log behind you. People actually have used it as a bath mat to sit on. Um, this is a new one also in which it actually has um, an adhesive back which leaves no coating. So it is able to peel off on and off and on and off. Um, if it starts to get not sticky, all you need to do is rinse it and the, and the, and the grip returns to it. Um, we have it in black and then also in, in this blue color. Um, this is also new, our gel seat cushion that we've just added to it. So um, all of these options um, currently you buy these at a different price, at a different multiplier. They're currently at a 0.45. After the first of the year, these would be going to a 0.47. Um, and on um, these accessories, and I will tell you, these are a different multiplier because we did lower the list price for these. Um, you're, you're with the multiplier change uh, and the list price, you know, being lowered. Your costs stayed the same. It's just uh, we were getting feedback on from your consumer end that. No one wanted to pay, you know, $300 for a pillow, even though it was like $40. So, or, or you know, $190 and it came out to $19. So, or $28, uh, we were losing all those accessory sales. So that's why we kind of changed uh, that multiplier. Um, one thing I do want to point out, this neck jet therapy system, and you can see this as a list of $670. This is actually, uh, if you look in your book, this is not listed under the pillows. It's actually listed under the accessories or under the options. Um, so this one, you do get your standard multiplier on right here, but that is this pillow right here. So just so you know, with this pillow, you actually get two neck jets, which are installed into the tub. And then this pillow goes over those jets. And when the Whirlpool runs, um, the water fills up this area, which makes a massaging effect. And then it, it, it rolls down uh, through back into the tub through the pillow. So this actually includes the pillow and two jets. So if you're wondering why is there a $670 pillow, it is actually a system with extra jets in it. So it's actually a very, very nice upgrade. Oh. Uh, Warranty. Uh, one thing that we did do recently is we moved our Advantage warranty to match the rest of the line. So the Advantage no longer has just the one year warranty. It now has the same as all of our units, the 10 years on the tub shell, five years on mechanical systems, pumps, fittings, blowers, controls, and then also a one year labor coverage. So for one year, we will uh, send somebody out to uh, fix it if something is wrong on that unit. Um, this is just some basic ordering info. We have these order sheets and these actually, um, we have these electronically. Uh, so you can see this one is for the classic designer and elite lines. Um, we have this for Advantage. We have one for uh, walk-in tubs. We have it for our Affinity line. Uh, we have these electronically. If you want these sent to you, just let us know. We can send these out. And it just works as a really nice cheat sheet. Uh, kind of makes it a little bit easy. You just pick what unit you're selling, and it tells you what your options are 
for your blower pump and blower options. So kind of calls out specifics on the specific unit and then just walks you through any of the additional upgrades. The only product that this is required for is our walk-in tubs. Um, our walk-in units, we have one specifically for walk-in units in before those go into production, we have to have one of these filled out. But if you do send us in an order, if there's any information that it's not complete or the pricing's not correct, they, they actually don't go into the system until actually all of that is correct. So when you talk about your lead time and uh, when those tubs are gonna be ready, it's the, it starts, the, the time starts actually from when it's when you've got when you've received back your confirmations and it's been actually entered into the system um, we did kind of cover this if additional jets are required check with customer service to verify that manufacturing approval and what the lead time would be um, this is just i call this the method to our madness this is just um, our part number identifier so this is kind of this calls out um, the different um, the locations for our part number you can see here on this uh, on this one right here this is from our j series so this is a j10 uh so the 10 is actually means it's a 72 by 42 oval um so with it having no in that third uh placeholder there's nothing there so that just means it's a standard classic say if this was like a j12 skirted it would be right there would be a j12s um, or it just tells you if it's, you know, any of the upgraded um, elite to the XP, any upgraded uh, jetting, jetting configurations will go right there. The next is the color identifier. And then that final one is um, if it just basically where your pump position is um, or if it's a soaker. If it was a soaker, it would have an NJ here for non-jetted. You can see this has an RF for right front same logic that follows with the advantage line. Um, e is for the advantage. Um, I always think E for economy. It's the builder series entry level. Um, again, O2 is the size and shape. Um, tells you that here it's an op, it shows you that this is a drop in versus a skirted. It would have an S color code and pump location. So just if you have any questions on that. So as we go through the different lines for the Advantage, the Classic, the Designer, and the Elite, um, here is just a really nice compare and contrast um, little chart. So um, as we spoke about in the Advantage line, so Advantage, you have soakers, whirlpools, and air tubs. When we go through the Classic, you have soakers, whirlpools, air only, and combo. As we move into the designer and elite, you have only whirlpool and combo, whirlpool and combo. Um, as we spoke about classic, the air only, it's a very nice air system. There's no need to do an upgraded designer or elite air only system. And then obviously we're not going to have a, it's kind of hard to have a designer or elite soaker. So that's why when you look in your designer and elite, those are only whirlpools and combos classic your classic j series will be soakers whirlpool air and combos and then in your advantage you have soakers whirlpool and air so and you can see the difference in the foaming spot foam over here this is going to be foam that is complete coverage as we go through the whirlpool up to six jets one back jet traditional fixed eyeball one horsepower pump as you go down here, five to eight jets, one back jet, you get the flow adjustable upgraded jets that are removable. Over here, more back, more jets, the three pack of back jets, they're now rotating, all removable. And then over here, again, just gets upgraded more. Um, air, the biggest difference is injectors around the perimeter, only a one horsepower non-heated blower and operated by the air switch. Over here, you've got more injectors, heated blower, mood light included, and then you get the nice electronic control panel. And then again, if you want a combo, every that goes uh, the same. The biggest differences between the combos is the amount of jets depending on the designer and the elite versus that classic series. Any questions? If you have any questions, just type them into the chat box.
Okay. And with that, we are going to be ending our webinar. Thank you so much for everybody that uh, joined us. You'll be getting an email tomorrow um, with the slide presentation that you went through today, as well as a recording if you'd like to share it with anybody um, in your showroom or in your location. Um, and also a um, just a little bit of feedback. We'll be asking you a few questions. I'd love it if you could um, let us know what we're doing right and um, let us know if there is something more that you would like to see. And um, we will uh, talk to you all later. Thank you for your time, everybody. Talk to you later.